ask not what your country can do for you. It is safe to say that nearly every American alive today knows Theodore Sorensen's work. Ask what you can do for your country. He was JFK's favorite speechwriter and helped introduce the president to the nation. Sorensen had been writing for him since Kennedy was a freshman senator, and Sorensen was a 24-year-old, fresh from his hometown of Lincoln, Nebraska. Working with this one man for 11 years uh, merged our two styles. I knew what he wanted to say. I knew how he wanted to say it. Sorensen helped write Kennedy's Pulitzer Prize-winning book, Profiles in Courage. For years, scholars have speculated that he was the main author. He always sidestepped the question. It's no great secret that your intellect, your words, were an integral part of the book. Well, I've tried to keep it a secret. But Sorensen was much more than a writer. JFK called him my intellectual blood bank. Sorensen was at the president's side every day, including 13 of the most dangerous days in human history, the Cuban Missile Crisis. A series of offensive missile sites. Frankly, during those 13 days, I was too busy to be scared. As nuclear war between the U.S. and the Soviet Union drew closer, Sorensen crafted a letter from JFK to Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev that diffused the crisis. I knew that any mistakes in my letter could result in the uh, end of America and maybe the end of the world. After JFK was assassinated, Sorensen worked for President Johnson, ran unsuccessfully for the Senate, and became a distinguished international lawyer. He was 82 when he died of complications from a stroke. There's a lesson from his life. Powerful men die. Powerful words endure for the ages. Richard Schlesinger, CBS News, New York.